Hello, welcome back to Talk of the Town. And I don't know if you've been to the Park Plaza cinemas for a little while, but if you haven't, you need to take an opportunity to go there. They are doing, they're taking a different twist with the movie theater theme. And with me today, I have owner of Park Plaza Cinema, Lucy Mann. Lucy, welcome to the show. Hello. And I know that you have different events at the cinema. I, I, you know, obviously when you go to the cinema or you think of a theater, you're going to watch a movie, but you do more than a movie. So tell us a little bit about how, what your take on the theater is now. It's a lot for us. Um, we've, you want to, we've owned the movie theater, my husband and I, for about a year. In July it was a year. And the minute we walked in there, we decided we were going to renovate, but didn't know what we were going to do. And as we stood there and watched people uh, interact with each other before or after the movie, we thought we need to create a place where they can hang out. Because we, we love to entertain and can't do it because I'm over there all the time. So we thought, let's just create a place where people can convene before the movie or after the movie. And then that's how the idea of the ice cream came along and the little cafe. And then it evolved into a little uh, bar area, lounge. Which is, uh, I think it's a really original concept. And I, and I like it. It's more like an it's like an evening out. It's not just going That's to right. the theater, watching the movie, and then having eat your popcorn and then leaving. It's actually a, an interaction, an, an, an evening out among people. That's right. And, um, you know, people are not done after the movie. They want to hang out and talk about it or keep visiting with each other if they go as a, you know, a group. Uh, they go in, they go to see the movie, and then when they come out, they're not done visiting. And I always felt like, oh, it's all, when I went to see a movie before it's over, I got to go, but I'm not done visiting, you know. So anyway, the little bar area has been lovely for that. Just the other night, um, we were, my husband and I watched people come to see a movie with the, their family, and they stayed for about an hour after because they kept meeting all these people they hadn't seen in so long. So that was lovely, and I thought, you know, that's what it's working. It's working. This is what we had in mind, and people are really enjoying visiting with their friends because they don't typically see them that much right, right. now. Right, exactly. Because of the school or whatever. And, and I think it's a great opportunity. Now, you will be having a special presentation, um, Season of a Lifetime, which is uh, it, that's right. it's, it's not the movie. It's, um, what did you call it? A documentary? It is a documentary, but it's the showing, right? Oh, it's a screening, it's yes. It's the screening. It's the movie's not out in the public eye, and um, it will be uh, submitted for consideration for Academy Awards for documentary. It's about Jer Jeremy Williams, who is was it was the high school coach uh, right. in the Georgia area, and he actually developed um, suddenly ALS, which we know as Lou Gehrig's disease, so mm -hmm. your idea was to bring that awareness of that disease, horrible, horrible disease, to yes. more I I to the community, and um, I, which I think is amazing. And hopefully, we're going to have Rick Cohen, who mm -hmm. was the director producer. He'll he'll be um, there following the screening, so that this way there's almost like a little um, uh, presentation following the. That's the right. Pro following the show. He will probably talk about his experience of meeting um, Coach mm -hmm. Williams and uh, we'll have a question and answer and um, just how af it afflicts the families but how this movie and the making of it has brought hope to the community where they, they are because Coach Williams continued according, you know, from what I can see on the trailer of the movie, continued coaching, even confined in a wheelchair and, and having difficulty breathing and all that. So it really um, brought the community closer and it's a very inspiring movie. Yeah. You um, have a website and which is a, a great website. It, it shows, you know, how you have the theater set up and from there can people see trailers or, or get some information about the movies coming up or events coming up and, and what they can expect? Yes, absolutely. 
uh, you can just punch on the movie and it'll show you the trailer and a synopsis and uh, the rating of it if it's PG or G so you can be prepared uh, if you bring little children. Right. But your concept really is to make Park Plaza Cinema a, a family theater um, outing, yes. correct? Yes, it has been the, uh, the history of the movie theater, seems like, because of uh, being close to Sea Pines. It just seems to be uh, one that families like to go to. And uh, now they can hang out and have ice cream, coffee, and a meal if they want to. And, uh, and our little dog is there. She's kind of the little mascot. <laughs> and the little children love to talk with her. And I've watched adults get on their knees and talk <laughs> to the little dog. It's been fun. And people can contact either the movie theater line mm -hmm. or call the theater. There's two separate phone numbers. I know those are showing on the screen. Or they can go to the website and get more information about upcoming movies, events, That's and right. um, anything they want to know about. That's right. And in the summer, as well as in the winter, we do specials. And uh, because we're new mm -hmm. and uh, we, want, we want people to come visit us, we love it. And so we do... Um, uh, our fall specials are two for Tuesdays. We did that all last winter. It was a great um, benefit to the community. They love it. And then we have wine on Wednesday. In other words, on Tuesday you buy one ticket, you get one free. But you have to bring this little ad, uh, or it's in the paper okay. every day. Okay. And you just cut it out and bring it in. And um, same on Wednesday. We have wine on Wednesday. Get one free if you buy one. And on Thursday, um, you have a if you buy a certain combo, you get a free ticket. And on Sunday, if you buy two Sundays, you get a free ticket. And then we have gift gift certificates for Christmas. A great gift idea. It is we a great gift idea. And then I don't know if you know, but we have a little uh, gift shop in there. No, I didn't know. But there's so much to see down there. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't been for a while, but I'm going to come soon. Lucy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And we thank you so much for joining us today on Talk of the Town.